And I don't know how well the GoPro, you know, captures uh, how steep some of this is, but usually does a pretty awful job. Definitely putting this bike to the test today. Oh, 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 almost ate it there. Oh, there's a coyote out there. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. Today we're going to be taking the Electric XP 3.0 Long Range Edition off the beaten path onto some bike trails out in the middle of the desert. We're actually going to go drive over to Santan Mountain Regional Park here in the beautiful state of Arizona to see how this bike does on the trails. Now, I know Electric does make their own mountain bike, the X-Peak, but I don't have an X-Peak. I've got the 3.0, so let's drive on out there and see how this does. So here we are at San Tan Mountain Regional Park. Got the bike all set up here. A couple things I bring on me with these trail rides are these, uh, you know, quick bike repair kit. I got some hex tools. Uh, I've got the tire a repair kit, uh, some other things, bike pump, all that fun stuff. And of course, my handy can of tire inflator sealer and my uh, handy Leatherman. But uh, yeah, bike's all set up. Uh, let's head up the mountain. All right, we are starting this ride off on this little leaf trail. Now, I've never been up here on an e-bike. I've hiked it a couple times, but uh, never on a bike. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and therein lies one issue that uh, you know, I never really thought of before with this bike is that it doesn't come with a horn or a bell or anything like that, which is really unfortunate. Seems like putting on a little bell, you know, relatively cheap, throw it on there, good to go. So maybe future iterations of this bike will have a bell of sorts. You know, this bike has a front suspension. It does not have a rear suspension, but what I do have uh, is one of those uh, zoom suspension seat posts, which makes uh, this rough road a heck of a lot more comfortable. Now, today's a heck of a lot more busy than I thought it would be, but it's, it's the holidays on a Thursday, so people are out and about, and this is the most beautiful time of the year here in Arizona, so. All right, we made it through that. And literally everything is banging around here. You know, the bike is handling some of this steeper rocky stuff pretty well. Now my brakes are a little squeaky right now because uh, if you saw some of my previous content, this bike actually fell out of the trunk of my car when I opened it because it shifted and it kind of threw things off whack a little bit. But uh, anyways, sorry for the squeaks ahead of time. Thank you. All right, we will stay to the right here and head on up. It'll be interesting to see if this bike makes it out here in one piece. Like this is definitely the most aggressive driving I've done. This is by no stretch of the imagination, the mountain bike, but uh, you know what? It's got some fat tires, so why not? Let's we'll see how it does. And I do believe this trail goes a little ways up this mountain here, so we'll see how that goes.
you know, the pedal assist is actually doing really well. You know, I'm cycling between level three and level five. And so far, so good. You know, I did have to downshift back there, but, uh, you know, that was a really steep section. I don't know how well the GoPro, you know, captures uh, how steep some of this is, but usually does a pretty awful job at providing that perspective. Definitely putting this bike to the test today. Oh yeah, I definitely got some steep stuff ahead, so we'll see if we can make it. This is turning out to be a little much. All right. Electric XP 3.0 has met its match. <laughs> ah, this is extremely steep. And thankfully, you've got the throttle here. So pushing this bike up this super steep face here is a lot easier than it should be oh and i thought i was going to be recording a cute little trail ride video where i sit back and relax and let the bike do all the work oh yeah it's definitely not uh bike friendly you know i uh went to the all trails website and they said that this is a bike friendly path although the comments online alluded to it not being as bike friendly as advertised all right we're gonna head back down and uh, go on something a little more bike friendly. You know, the folks down there told me that it gets uh, steeper and the other side of this is a heck of a lot steeper. So, uh, you know, it's definitely not a bike friendly uh, not trail. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's get some pictures here. <laughs> oh, not all the way up. <laughs> Thank. Oh. 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 Let's try this one. Santan Trail. All right. Okay. All right. Back to something uh, that's actually feasible for this video today. 
definitely uh, quite the steep hill. I don't know if that's really bike friendly or not. Wasn't for me, maybe for the pros, but uh, All right. The pedal assist is definitely nice to have on something like this where normally you'd be putting in quite a bit of effort make it up with some of these steep little inclines here. I'm gonna keep on going on this trail. That other trail is called Dynamite Trail. I, all I can think of is them clearing the path here with dynamite and some big old boulders all over the place. No, thank you. Okay. Definitely a bumpy ride for sure, but the uh, suspension is doing reasonably well. It would probably be a whole lot cooler if it had proper rear suspension on this kind of terrain, but that's okay. A little downhill stretch here. Still cruising around the pedal assist three. It looks like we got still all bars remaining on the battery. You know these three inch wider tires are really quite grippy so I'm, I'm definitely happy with that it allows me to cruise around in these turns no problem on the dirt now to be honest i don't know where i am right now this is a whole network of trails so let's see santan trail continues this way what's straight ahead i don't know oh. Eighteen miles an hour on this little trail here. Moonlight Trail. Okay. Oh. Moonlight Trail. We'll try it out. <laughs> Got to be careful with this throttle. I don't want to rock it into a frickin' cactus here. These cacti on the side of the trail always make me nervous because the last thing I want to do is slide out and land in one of these things. Stargazer Trail, huh? Stargazer sounds like uh, another climb up the mountain, so I'll hold on on that stargazing for now. We'll stay with the Moonlight Trail, sounds a little more relaxing. All right. 
Oh, some rocks there got tangled up in the spokes. All right, it's fun. It would be really neat to see how like the X-Peak that uh, Electric recently released would do on a trail like this. Maybe a future project. Oh, sandy material here, that's cool. All right, back uphill we go. But not like the first time around, that, was, that sucked. That was awful. You know, if there weren't any loose bolts on this bike before, there may very well be after this ride. Here we go. Here we go. I'll tell you what, my hands are sore from gripping onto these handlebars. Okay. Oh. Head back down here. everybody so I'm impressed you know the fact that I can come out here and enjoy these trails like this on my uh, electric XP 3.0 makes me really happy I wasn't sure at first like on some of this more aggressive stuff how it would perform but I'm happy you know I've got a bike lock attached to this is mirror a bunch of stuff that I probably should have taken off before coming out here because that stuff kind of bounces around but other than that and some rocks hitting the fenders every now and then it things holding up great we'll go back uh, let's see oh we didn't go here last time let's check this area out see what we've got okay Looks like a little bit of an uphill course here. I don't know.
navigate through this mess. I think this is the trail. We'll see. Downshift a bit, help this bike out. That's a workout. This motor is definitely putting in some over overtime hours today. Almost ate it there. I gotta be careful using these brakes. Okay. Okay, Hedgehog Trail. I don't know about all that. We'll continue on this one here. Oh, there's a coyote out there. I don't know if you saw that coyote. There he goes. Wow. Hopefully he didn't bring his friends. Man, look at that beautiful view. I don't know if you can see it. That is stunning. There's some big sheer cliffs out there. It's 
So far we've put 8.8 .8 miles on this ride. God, I did not see that rock. Woo! Glad I didn't go over the handlebars on that one. <laughs> Almost ate it on that one. I had to take a little bit of a pit stop there to check on the map, see where I was at, because uh, I've never been so far into these trails before. But it looks like we are heading in the right direction, so that's fantastic news. The battery, according to the bars, are probably somewhere around 45, 50%. You know, we've only gone 10 and a half miles, but you've seen this terrain. Uh, it's nothing to scoff at, you know, it's lots and lots of hills. And I'm definitely taking full advantage of the paddle assist on this bike. That's for sure. Cause there's no way I would have been able to make it this far without the help because uh, my conditioning isn't that great right now. You know, I ran a marathon in February of this year and ended up having a nasty gallbladder attack and that put me out of commission for a month and it messed up my post-marathon training and then I got lazy as heck and uh, started uh, doing a lot of Netflix, okay, and, and scooter riding. <laughs> so, definitely need to get back into it. I actually got my exercise bike out in the garage. So, starting here in the next couple days, I'm going to be hitting that up every uh, couple days or so to get my conditioning back.
right, everybody. So that was my ride with Electric XP 3.0 Long Range Edition uh, on the trails out here at Santan Mountain Regional Park. All I can say is that this bike held up really well. Um, you know, at the start, I tried to ride the bike up what appears to be like a hiking only section of the trails i think online they said that you know these are all bike friendly but it definitely wasn't friendly to me so i had to definitely walk the bike up and then turn around and realize like that i don't think that's designed for biking uh but then took it on a bunch of other trails up a lot of steep areas and this this bike performed really well i had a couple close calls where i almost ate it but uh you know that's to be expected i'm not a seasoned mountain biker and i'm taking a like an electric uh, bicycle up these uh, mountain bike trails. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm super impressed with this bike. I have all my spokes. I don't have any flat tires, which is really surprising because I'm riding here in uh, cacti country where, you know, you've got uh, cacti all over the place. And I'd imagine their thorns are all over these trails, but uh, the tires held up really well. So uh, very happy with it. So I hope this content was helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so as I upload this type of content on a weekly and bi-weekly basis. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.